Well, I started out um, training as a pharmacist and then when I graduated from pharmacy school I worked in a hospital and had the opportunity to work in a diabetes education centre. So my job at that time was to talk to uh, families, to parents, uh, to patients who had diabetes to learn about their medications. And as I was working with the patients and the families and the, the um, uh, clinicians in the diabetes centre, I started to see and, and ask questions about how we could better manage the, the patients. As a pharmacist, I was interested in the drugs we were using, but I was also interested in the system and uh, how we were paying for all these drugs and how we were organized. So that started to drive me towards uh, learning how to do research in epidemiology and in, in clinical uh, pharma pharmacy uh, and then health economics and health policy. So it kind of wrapped it all up together and that's what the, the, the start of Accord was and now I have colleagues in, who are health economists and health policy as well as the clinical side. Well there's, there's different aspects. Some of it um, as a, a core function of public health uh, one of the important core functions is surveillance, so just monitoring the, the population, the health of the population at a time, an indicator like how many people in the population have diabetes, and we surveil that, monitor that over time. Uh, and we're hoping to be involved in programs and evaluate interventions that start to reduce that. Uh, so prevention of diabetes would be one of the, the key things. That could be through health policy measures, uh, that uh, some of our other colleagues in the school are interested in, like uh, childhood obesity, uh, healthy uh, behaviors like uh, healthy eating and active living. Um, but we, are, we also might be interested in the population who already have diabetes and how can we improve their outcomes, how can we improve the care that they're um, being provided through the primary care system, and how can we link primary care up with uh, some of the self-care things that we need to do. So linking primary care up with community rec centers uh, so that people with diabetes have access to those types of services so they can engage in healthier behaviors. So health promotion within a, a, a diabetes population, for example. My name is Jeff Johnson and this is Public Health.